What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import products from AliExpress to your WooCommerce store in order to dropship them and sell them on your WooCommerce uh, website or store. So here, as you can see, I have my uh, WordPress or WooCommerce uh, store now opened and I'm signed in with my account. Uh, and also, you want to go ahead and sign into your AliExpress account. If you haven't signed in or you haven't created an AliExpress account, you can go ahead and uh, create one on AliExpress.com. Now, uh, first you'll need to be on your WooCommerce uh, website. And um, let's go here to our product, the products page here from the menu on the left and click on all products. As you see here, I have only uh, one product that I imported earlier from another uh, platform that was CJ Dropshipping. However, in this video, we'll focus on how to import products from AliExpress to sell them here. So, first of all, we'll need to go to your uh, the menu here on the left and go to plugins. And you want to click on it and then click on add new. And here it'll open the page where you can add a plugin or upload a plugin. Okay, so in the search here, we will uh, enter like uh, Ali to Wu, and it will load up automatically the compatible uh, plugins here. We wanna, uh, this is the one we want, the AliExpress dropshipping with Ali Next Lite. Uh, we can click on install now. However, I already installed it, so. All I need to do is activate it. The activate option will uh, appear here once you install the plugin first, like this one. Click on install now, and once it's installed, you will click on activate. Now, I'll click on activate here. And once I do, if you scroll down here, you will notice a new option appeared here the Ali Next Lite version. So if we click on it, we can search products, search in store, import list, view our import list, settings, transfer, and so on. So um, here, if we click on search products, we can search for products from AliExpress right from within our uh, WooCommerce uh, store. So enter, let's enter keyword like, um, let's add a men bracelet, for example, and then hit search. The second option is to add a Chrome extension in order to uh, import products from AliExpress web page. Now, once we uh, search for it, it will show the results here. And uh, if we scroll down to see a bracelet that we like, okay, let's say we like uh, this one in black and gold. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on add to import list. It will uh, load up a bit and it will add this product to our import list. We can um, import as many products as we like. However, we'll need to uh, do one more step in order to add the products to our products page. Okay, let's scroll down and import another one. Okay, this one looks good. Let's add it to our import list. Okay, that is good enough. Now, from the uh, plugin uh, option here, we have many products. We, we have many options, sorry. We click on the search products option to search for products, to find products. Now, to view our import list, let's click on import list here. And from here, you can find the two products that uh, we added here. That's the first one. And the second one is right beneath it. And here, if we want to add any of them to our store, we just want to click on push to shop here. So uh, let's load, like wait a bit for the images to load. Okay, here are the two products that we added. Now let's add this one to our store. We can view the uh, details, so the name here, we can change it if we want to. Um, okay, as I said, uh, we can edit the name as we want. So here, SKU, the status, uh, publish, okay, or draft or save this product as a draft, never to publish it on the site. Here we have simple variable product to uh, and or external affiliate product. So the difference between these two options is that the first sample and variable product will uh, allow you to sell the product from within your store or external product. That means when a customer clicks on the product, it will redirect them to the external link, in this case, AliExpress. Here we can choose a category. So uh, like uh, 
jewelry tags you can add tags if you want to and then once you edit or enter or edit all the details you can also choose here view the variance uh, view the description view uh, or edit description as you want to view the specs model number chain number chain type shape pattern and so on or here you can view the variance you are uh, 216 variants like colors uh, sizes and so on and once you are happy with all the settings you can click on uh, push to shop here so click on push to shop and this product is uh, added successfully to my shop so let's do the same for the second one here we have only one variant we can view the description and uh, edit them as we want to and edit the format as we wish okay view the specs view the images looking good now uh, here there is only one variant we can change the price here like uh, here the price uh, per item we can uh, change the price here let's add like for example five dollars sell it for five dollars okay the regular price is five dollars okay and um, once we are happy with all the details we can also click to push it to shop now we added uh, two products to our shop so uh, let's go to our products uh, page here view all products and now as you can see here the two items that I added the two bracelets are now added to uh, my store page and I can sell them on my store now if we click on the product itself we can view here the product page and we can edit all uh, the details like the name here let's name it like leather bracelet okay we can add media add like photos and so on we can uh, edit the status we can edit the visibility and uh, we can add a product link uh, condition and uh, categories and so on so like you can edit here all the uh, settings for uh, the product itself and we can edit also the link for the product and once you are uh, happy with all the settings or, or all the edits that uh, you did let's go back to our uh, products page here and also from the products page we can uh, under a product we can edit it quick edit we can preview the or view the aliexpress info we can duplicate it or uh, delete it from our store so that was like a quick overview on how to add products from aliexpress and import them to your woocommerce store and as i told you if we go back to the plugins and um, or sorry scroll down to ali next light version click on it uh, instead of searching for the products in here we can install the uh, google chrome extension and link it to our aliexpress uh, account so that we can go ahead and go to the aliexpress website itself where we can search more uh, precisely for products and categories view the trending products and so on and add the product right from within the aliexpress website we get a button here to import the product right to our woocommerce store so uh, that's how you import products from aliexpress and sell them on your woocommerce store